All right, welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the BBC, there's a platform that truly focuses on real issues and real debates. Once again, had Zara Sultana, who was Jeremy Corbyn's uh, pet project socialist pet sort of thing. <laughs> She's still in Parliament. Uh, and a number of other guests, uh, including Tim Lawton, the, the, the Conservative MP. And there was a bit of an issue with this debate because they were talking about how Zara Sultana and people like her basically believe that the British culture and the British people are also backwards and bigoted. So you have to use British taxpayers' money to hire woke diversity managers across the country, across the Whitehall and all departments and all probably schools and NHS departments in order to fix the culture. Now let's go to this debate and see how it started and how it ended. This is Tim Lawton. And at a time when taxes are historically at a very high level, we are spending £427 million on equality, diversity uh, and inclusiveness um, staff, some of whom I'm sure are doing a good job. Mm. But the rest of them, are they really essential? Are they really a priority when we need more nurses, more teachers, more train drivers or, or whatever? That's what we are questioning. And are we... Is I mean, Tim Lawton, even for me, is, is still too soft. He still says he's still a centrist. He's like, oh, well, I'm sure some of them do a good job. No, they don't. They, they're, they're, it's a pointless role. Why do we have to use taxpayers' money on these weird, weird jobs? Zara Sultana responded to Tim Lawton using this narrative. It just looks like classic Tory divide and conquer. Let's not um, deal with the fact that racism and discrimination do exist in the public sector as well, as well as the rest of society. And especially with the recent report from the London Fire Brigade, Charing Cross um, Met Police investigation where there are serious issues, um, we see the Conservatives, um, you know, uh, uh, direct their focus on strategies to address racism and discrimination instead of... Oh, my God. It's, she hangs out with Diane Abbott too much. Divide and conquer. Oh, the only group that do divide and conquer these days are the political left. This is exactly why you're creating these roles to divide and conquer, to pretend, to paint an image of a country that is, has been so progressive and tolerant in a, in a true definition of the word progressive and tolerant, not in a left-wing way. In terms of evolutionary, we modernize and the country is getting better until you guys keep bringing in your own weird issues and creating problems out of nothing. Of course there are case-by-case uh, -case individual problems everywhere in the world, everywhere. Do you think Qatar is a tolerant country? Do you think China is a tolerant country? Do you think e even Egypt and all the other places that you guys go on holiday and enjoy with your Jeremy Corbyn's and all the others, having your vegan food everywhere? They're not. There are problems everywhere. But then uh, this was the end of the debate. So we're spending this money on questionable priorities, well. and it's not even producing the goods. Of course so we, we need to drive We should stop it all together. No, no, I have not said that. You haven't listened, because what I said is there are good uses of this money. We absolutely need to make sure we are driving out racism uh, and inequalities, absolutely. Spending this amount of money on this amount of people across so many public services, and it's not producing the results, is not the best use of taxpayers' money, and I want that money to spend I think it's really... Oh, right. What's the point? I, I, there's absolutely no point. Uh, because I remember when I, when I was younger, growing up here in South East London, on a council state in South East London, even back then, things were just relatively fine. Nobody cared about people's skin colour. Nobody, And this was genuine diverse areas. <laughs> and now, ever since, you know, towards the end of Blair's government and Gordon Brown and since then, somehow, the way these people are talking about our nation makes us sound like it's 1939 in Germany. What is, what, what is happening? Um, some of these problems obviously have been imported from America. Uh, when the BLM started rallying and marching in the streets of London, everybody was confused, including the majority, the vast majority of uh, black British population who were like, what, what is going on here? We are not going to support this BLM agenda. And they were absolutely spot on to do that. Just leave the British people alone. If you're not happy, go to Venezuela, hang out with your friends. Right, let's take a, <laughs> take a quick break and subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.